Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on domain of logarithmic functions. Now here we have nested logarithmic functions. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, solve and then look into my solution. We need to find domain of f of x which is equal to log to the base 6 of log to the base 5 or log to the base 3 of 18x minus 77 minus x square. Now in logarithmic functions you know that log of whatever we are taking that should be greater than 0, right? So let's look into inside functions. So here we have one particular function which should be greater than 0. So we get one condition here which is log of to the base 5 of log to the base 3 of 18x minus 77 minus x square. Now that should be greater than 0. Now if you look further, we have another logarithmic function here which should also be greater than 0. So that gives us the second condition. Perfect. So we have two conditions to solve in this particular example. So the second condition here is 18x minus 77 minus x squared should be greater than 0. Now intersection or something common between the two will be your solution. So now you know what really is to be done. You can actually pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. So let me begin with the difficult part one. We've got a lot of logarithms here. So we'll convert this to exponential form. So we can write this as 5 to the power of 0 there, right? So we could rewrite this as log to the base 3 of 18x minus 77 minus x square should be greater than 5 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we get log to the base 3 of 18x minus 77 minus x squared should be greater than 1. Now again, write it to exponential form. So we get 18x minus 77 minus x squared should be greater than 3 to the power of 1, which is 3, right? Now let's bring this 3 to left side so and rearrange so what we get here is minus x squared minus 18 I and mean, this is plus 18x and we have minus 77 bringing 3 minus 3 greater than 0. Let's combine these terms so we get also okay we can actually change the sign make it positive so we'll make it positive it becomes 18 I mean minus 18x and that 80 will become positive 80, correct? And when you multiply with negative, the sign will change. So you get this. 80 and 18, product of uh, 8 and 10, will solve the question of factoring. So we get here x minus 8 times x minus 10, less than 0. Now, that is an inequality which could easily be solved with a parabola, correct? So it represents a parabola. So instead of making tables, I'll adopt a simpler approach of just sketching a parabola. The roots are at 8 and 10, right? So let's write in blue, 8 and 10. Less than 0 means we are looking for this portion, correct? So that means x should be greater than 8 and less than 10. So that is the condition which we get from one of our equations. Perfect. Now let's solve the other half. 18 minus this, let's rearrange as we did here. We get minus x squared plus 18x minus 77 greater than 0. Make it negative, that means multiply both sides by negative. So we get x squared minus 18x plus 77 is less than 0, right? 77 is 11 times 7, both negative. So we could get this as negative 11 times negative 7, right? Now, 
same strategy. I prefer this rather than working with inequalities, table form. We know a parabola opening up, right? With two zeros. The zeros are at this time 7, 11. Less than means we are looking for this portion. Perfect. Now that means that x should be between 11 and 7. Now we have to see the condition which is and. Correct? Both should be true. So the condition is and. So this should be true and that should be true. How is that possible? Well, there is only one way it is possible that if x is between 10 and 11, right? Right in between. So our answer is that x should be greater than 8 but less than 10. So that gives us the solution. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to go through this video once again. Write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.